Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. We have yet another cover design video today, but before we jump into that, I did want to remind you guys that Meet Me at the Summit is available for pre-order. You can pre-order it as an ebook as well as a paperback. And when you pre-order, you can fill out the form which will be linked below in this video's description. And when you fill out that form, you get three vinyl stickers, a postcard, and a book plate that is signed and it will all be mailed out to you as a thank you for pre-ordering the book. Besides pre-ordering the ebook and the paperback, you can also pre-order the book adventure box. Now the book adventure box brings the book to a whole new level. Rather than just reading the book, as you read the book you'll have gifts that you can open and the gifts have to do with the book. I've worked really hard to put these gifts together and make sure that you guys get a lot of value out of the box and enjoy the items that are in the box. So if you want to pre-order that, you can also find the link to that in the description below. You can pre-order just the box in case you pre-ordered Meet Me at the Summit somewhere else, or you can pre-order the box with a signed copy of the book. Now with that said, let's jump into the video. Now the cover we're designing today is a Removable Echo by Anne Sophie. This is a sci-fi novel. It was super fun to design this book cover. When I started designing it, I had a pretty specific vision in mind uh, where I wanted to create this tunnel with a uh, landscape in the background and you, you see me creating that here right now. Um, now I do want to note that in the cover design process we ended up changing the title of the book so you notice at the beginning of the process the book is titled removable parts and later it was changed to removable echo this is just something that happens sometimes sometimes you need to change the title sometimes you need to change the tagline it's just part of the publishing process so here you just see me creating a lot of the shading to create that sort of tunnel effect that I was looking for as well as just messing around with with the colors. Now right here I'm in Adobe Illustrator. I need to grab these vectors of two girls that were standing holding hands and I just had to of course cut out the grass and make it look more natural so I could paste them back into Photoshop and be able to continue editing there. So once I brought the vector of the two girls into the Photoshop, obviously they didn't have feet so I had to figure that out how to make it look natural that they didn't have feet because um, I'm not the best at drawing feet so I kind of just uh, played around with the shading so you couldn't notice that they had no shape to their actual feet. Um, and then of course I created a shadow for the girls. Uh, which was just a mirror Im image of themselves that was blurred and the opac opacity was brought down and really a lot of this cover is just playing around with the shading and the coloring and the text. We definitely struggled a lot to find the correct font for the title and I did end up cutting a lot of that footage out because it just got very repetitive but no we tried out many many different fonts during this cover design process. I also tried out a lot of different shades because I feel like one of the funnest parts of a sci-fi novel or even dystopian novel is when the cover is a very distinct color. Um, I feel like that's a very defining feature when you have strong colors so that was something I wanted to make sure that came across in the cover. Here you can see me adding some texture to the text. Uh, basically, I found a stock photo that was sheet metal and I made that into the shape of the text. That way we had this very subtle texture on the text. Thank you. 
And then one other detail I had to fix was that one girl was wearing a dress and that wouldn't be typical for the character so I had to just go ahead and remove that dress which I did by just using the uh, brush and eraser tool. Now this here is the second cover concept. Now usually I don't show you guys the second cover concept but in this case um, Anne, who is the author of this book, she ended up loving the second concept so much that we ended up using it for her hardcover edition. So she has two different covers. The first cover you saw was for the paperback and this cover you see me creating now is for the hardcover. Now this cover is actually very simple and it's created by using different Photoshop brushes. You can see me playing around with that now. Uh, I played around with different like paint textures and I just wanted to make sure that we had that syringe in there because that was a huge element to the story. And really again, this cover is a lot of just messing with the coloring and the shading and with the textures. It really just ended up being a beautiful cover that didn't need too much tweaking when we got to the final phases. And here we have the two final covers side by side. On the left we have the paperback, on the right we have the hardcover. As you can see we decided to make sure that all the fonts match up uh, and we finally did decide on a font and I have to say this font was definitely the best choice. It looks clean and it has those sci-fi vibes that we were looking for and yeah I was just really excited to have these covers done. I will leave a link to Anne's website down below. She also has a YouTube video coming out today so be sure to check that out as well and as always thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video be sure to let me know in the comments down below.